Talus Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talus Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talusum. Puriang Tenjon. Welcome back to the show, everyone. This is your G C Food again, and today we're back to a short episode. Of Talus Magic Talk Show, and uh, today we're going to talk about this topic of immortality and longevity. So, um, a lot of people are thinking that Talus are always aiming to cultivate uh, for long life, like you can live for a long time or even uh, not die. And there are also a lot of um, history. About like the kings and the emperors uh, trying to find a way to not die, and you may not understand why people have that thought because um, it seems like a scam. You know, like people fall into the scam of believing that they can consume some kind of pills or chemicals or whatever things, and uh, it makes them like you know won't die forever, and it never happened, right? But Why are people still doing it? What is the truth behind this thing? Like, is it actually real? Uh, is there, like, any one who successfully did it? Why? Like, what is this thing about? So here, I'm giving you the most straightforward, no BS answer because I am doing it myself, and I'm telling you what it is actually about. So, first thing is a lot of stuff out there is. BS because people are not actually cultivating while they are the writer. So, like you try to talk about medicine and things like that, but you're not a doctor. Forget about it, okay? <laughs> a lot of them are not even doing it. So, first thing first, there are few stages of this whole cultivation thing. But before I start, I have to introduce the word. Cultivation. Okay, why do we say we cultivate as a talus? We cultivate this word. I don't know how to really tell you because uh, it's a Chinese word. So I'm going to explain the Chinese word directly. Okay, it's called sao hang in Cantonese. Sao hang. Okay. Um, so this word sao hang it means to uh, cultivate or prepare or To train, do whatever you need, okay? To to prep for the go, go where? Go on your trip. So, yeah, where are you going? You know, like where are you going? So, uh, what does does that mean? Well, we are here, born here to die, right? We all die. So eventually you die, but we understand that you die is not the end of the not the end of the game yet. You still have more things going on. So where are you going after you're dead? Now this is the whole idea, the whole point of cultivating. So you're doing whatever you're doing, you know, like to 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 learn stuff to. Learn the talus magic to learn the martial art or whatever things in the lineage. You are just preparing for the trip after you're dead. Where are you going? So we are preparing. You are doing things to uh, get this trip ready, right? You're preparing. So that is why we say we sao hang, we cultivate. Now other religions also do that. Like even if you're a Catholic, Christian, Muslim. Buddhist, whatever, right? You all are doing the same thing. You're cultivating for your life after this one. So eventually, well, if you're like in other religions, the broad idea is, oh, okay, so I die, and the God will save you, and you'll become like a member of where your God is, right? I, I hope so. <laughs> so you like you know you believe in God and eventually He bring you to heaven, right? It's very simple, right? So that is what we are doing as well. It's just that we are belonging to different God, right? So we have a different place. <laughs> very simple, right? So what are Taoists doing? Whatever like sect you are in, it's not like just my sect, but any any Taoism sect, they have. Their gods, 
their place to go and is not the same place. Every sect has their own unique place to go. Okay, so it doesn't mean that you are in this sect and you will go to the heaven of an other sect, which is also a talism, a talism sect. It doesn't do that. So now there are a few stages that we have to take to like to uh, accomplish in order to get there, right? So the first aim is, well, you got to live a healthier life. Like here, when you're like still alive, right? First thing is we have to aim for uh, being healthier, okay? So you cannot just live a life and keep being sick and all that. It, it's so hard. It's... You know, like even you want to cultivate, you want to learn. It's like I have no energy. I am uh, always sick. You know, how can you cultivate, right? So the first thing is improving your health. A lot of people are having that impression that talism must be like, oh, you have to do tai chi and qi gong, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, that's something we do, but not just that. Okay, there's a lot of other things that we do which fix your health up. So. Anyway, the goal is whatever method we're using, the main goal is to improve your health. Now, one of the things that I have been teaching my disciple is the first thing is you need to live a proper life. Some people, they have bad time management. And this is a problem because it's like I have a disciple who um, who is like working and he said that he always come back home and it's already midnight and then it's like he do a bit of this and that and wow that's already 2 3 a.m and next morning you know he wake up tired and dreadful and then he have to go to work again it, it seems like you know his life have no time for things so if you're like that how can you even cultivate the Taoism stuff, right? It becomes very discouraging. It feels like your life is just work and work and work. Yeah, but it's more like your time management issues. So I gave him a plan and he followed the plan. And immediately next day, he's like, wow, my life is so much better. I can finish so many things and I can do my training. It's like the whole day is efficient, productive and energized. So, so happy, right? So fulfilling. That is already a big change. You don't need Tai Chi, Qi Gong or whatever. This is the first thing. Fixing up your life, your living pattern, it's going to be much healthier. Now, this is very hard because you got to be disciplined, right? It's, lots of people cannot do that. But with my teachings, right, if you're my disciple, you can do it. It's, it's really cool <laughs> how I guide some people to like actually change their lifestyle. But anyway, that's the first stage. So once you get healthy, you can practice the stuff you can learn stuff and so on the second stage is to well this is the first stage we can say is like longevity because the more you're like that the more like polished you are with the lifestyle and all that you can for sure live longer than average and that's what longevity is about right so you can live longer than the average and that includes like you have to quit a lot of bad habit. For example, if you're smoking or whatever, right? Those things damage your health, so you don't do that. You do things that benefit your health and make you a healthier person. Next stage, immortality, which is like, oh, you're not going to die, right? Well, yeah, uh, we all die, we know, right? There's no way for any human being to stay alive with their physical body. But what this thing is about is actually the... Um, after life. So when you are dead, right? When you're dead from here, your soul body, which is the you by then, right? You live in another dimension. And in that dimension, you're still like conscious and know everything, what's happening and you keep your memory. You're still you. It's just that you're in another place. And that, um, that is like when, a person die, you become a ghost, right? And eventually, uh, you have to go through the ghost life, <laughs> okay? So you kind of understand. But um, for us, we cultivate to become an immortal. And what immortal actually means is that we go into a place that that we belongs to uh, that that keep us safe and protects us. And what that is, well, it is the 
lineage, uh, stuff like your altar. You your altar has an inner world inside. So when you're dead and you're like a spiritual, you know, being, right? The altar takes you in and protects you, and that becomes your next home. And you can cultivate inside there. Now, if you don't have an altar, then you go into uh, another place, maybe like uh, your your upper altar, or it could be my altar. Or it could be the celestial court. It depends. So there is a place in the lineage that will take you, and eventually you work your way up. Like you, you keep learning, training, doing your stuff, and you you work your way up, and you get accepted by the celestial court. And you will get into there to work, and you're still cultivating. You're still cultivating for the trip, because the trip is not done yet. So, now the next stage is what your ultimate goal. Your ultimate goal is as a like a spiritual immortal. Okay, like you won't die there. It's no dying in that dimension, but you will be living a long time too, and that. Period. You're cultivating to move on to the ultimate destination, where we call our like Taoist heaven. So that's like where our um, the top, 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 top gods are. Okay, and that place is not in the celestial court. It's above, like more. Uh, we can say like a more pre-heaven dimension, and it's an other world. That world. You get a real life. You get to be reborn in there. Not reborn. You get to continue your life there, and you will become a being in that world. And that world is the ultimate destination. Okay, we call that the Tai Lo Team. And you get there, and you become what we call the Tai Lo Gum Sin, which is the the Tai Lo Team's golden immortal. And they don't die. People there, they don't die from aging. Okay, so if you become a being of that world, um, it's like the property of that world is like you don't die from aging. You can die if someone like you know kill you with a weapon or you know drop a bomb on your head. <laughs> you can die like that, but you don't die from aging because there's no aging in that world. So if you become a being in that world, that is the ultimate goal. You will never die. Yeah, from aging. Okay, <laughs> you can die if someone like stab you with a knife and then you bleed to death, but you won't die from aging. Now, why is this world so nice? We can call that like your heaven, the best place, the paradise, whatever you want to call it. Right? It's like the best place. Why is it so good? Because you know what? Here we are, kind of like we're not complete in this world. Um, what I mean is like. We cannot really uh, naturally sense our spiritual planetary body. Our like we are very um, naive about our spiritual side because we are very detached and away from it. But there, those beings, they are a complete being. Everyone there, even a baby, will know about their spiritual planetary body. They can travel between dimension. It's like part of their second nature that they can do that. So, what's so cool about that? Well, let me tell you the lifestyle, right? So here we have to sleep when we're tired, right? There, there's no sleeping. When you're tired in one physical, like okay, first of all, there are three dimensions, okay? Let's give it a name: dimension one, six, and eight. Okay, dimension eight is a physical dimension. It's almost the same as here. Okay, so you live a life there, a physical. Being right, and then you get tired. What do you do? Then you travel. Like you can, what we do here is sleep. Well, you do something else there, and then you travel into the dimension six, which is the spiritual dimension, and that is like the dimension of like when you're dreaming. Okay, but it's not a dream. It's a an other、uh, dimension, and they have their world right there. It's kind of like you go on internet. Right? It's like a second world, but there is not an internet. It's it's natural and other dimension. In that dimension, your your life is like connected with the with the physical world. So anything you do there relates to the other world. It's like how our internet world and reality, you know, they relate. So you can be like going into that place and then do stuff and then the other world and continue like that. Now. 
if you run out of time, let's say, oh, I forgot to do my homework, you can go to Dimension One anytime you want. Dimension One is what we call the Zhan uh, Yun Hong Gan, which is like the uh, I don't know how to explain it, but basically that's like the most pre-heaven dimension, and time is not a thing in that dimension. So you can be doing a lot of stuff, you know, in it there, and then you come back to D8, like dimension eight, and it's like, oh, only one minute passed, you know, like that, that kind of thing. So time travel, time pausing is like one of the natural ability for people there. So there's no more like, oh shit, I forgot to do my stuff. Uh, I forgot to do my homework. You know, like you always run out of time, and there you have no problem. Like, Anything you want, you go to D1, finish it, come back. But then you cannot bring the stuff. Like if you are making a boat, okay, in the Dimension 8, making a physical boat, you cannot bring those elements to Dimension 1 and then come back and then like your the boat is like, ta-da, you know, it, you cannot do that. So what you can do is the non-physical stuff. For example, um, you have to like finish... Uh, thinking about the plan for the boat, right? But you don't have enough time. You go to Dimension 1, you finish all the stuff, planning, thinking, and then you come back to Dimension 8 and you can like redraw the whole plan and then, okay, now we got everything done. So if you're like you're designing something or, you know, thinking about an idea, you can always go to Dimension 1 and like spend a lot of time there, finish it, come back, boom, and you have the idea right away. It costs you no time. So isn't that a paradise? Super nice. Now, dimension six is where distant is not a thing. So you have time, but distant is not a thing. Here, I want to go out and go to this restaurant. I need to like spend 30 minutes driving and then go there, wait, you know. There, you can like immediately zoop and then like appear in another place there. You don't need to walk. You can walk, but you don't have to. So if I want to visit my friend, I just need to like zap and then I'm like right there. You don't need to like travel, but I can choose to walk because I enjoy the walking. I can do that. But distant is not a thing right there. So people can connect to each other like how we, you know, click URL, boom, and then you visit a website like immediate, right? Kind of like that. Our internet world is a very good um, uh, reputation of representation of this world of like the d6 because it's very alike you know like that but instead of the internet there is like an other actual dimension that people travel uh, around so yeah being one of those immortal there's like the time travel time pausing and all that and it's part of their nature you know that's how the higher dimension beings are like and it's very very cool <laughs> to us you know if you live a life here you will love that place so much because it is like a paradise you, when you don't have to struggle with time. You want to learn something and, you know, like I'm teaching you a Kung Fu form and you have issue learning it, right? Bring it over to Dimension 1. Practice all you want. Now you're good. Come back. Try it again. Wow. Immediately you know it. It's like you're super smart. <laughs> so the ultimate goal is to become that like a member of a person in that world and continue your life there as what we call and like the immortal right so that is the goal you don't stay here in this world which sucks uh forever we move to another world to continue your life so that we never die because we keep all our memories and everything when we go there so we're still the the same person when we go to that world now how to get there well Every lineage or sect has a different method and way, right? So if you ordain into our lineage, you will know. <laughs> anyway, my timer is up, so uh, we'll talk about these things more in the future. And remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and so on. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!